for 60 years, one comic strip has made people laugh, not only in the US, but around the world. Graham Bainford has a story of how a local man has kept one little boy's adventures alive. In 1951, the appearance of Hank Ketchum's Dennis the Menace was a hit. For 60 years, the cartoon spread joy and humor to fans in the U.S. and in over 48 countries around the world, and is still. When Hank Ketchum decided to retire in 1994, Marcus Hamilton continued his work as illustrator of Dennis the Menace for the Daily Panel. It's a thrill for me at my age to be continuing Hank Ketchum's legacy through Dennis the Menace. Marcus always knew he wanted to be an artist and started at the age of five. He grew up reading Dennis the Menace and when Hank Ketchum decided to retire, Marcus saw an opportunity of a lifetime. I was in awe. Uh, he was such a well-respected cartoonist in the business. I couldn't believe he was willing to, to take a chance on me just because I called him one day and asked if I could draw Dennis. Dennis the Menace has made a huge impact on the world. There are so many characters everyone can relate to. The favorite character in Dennis to me would be Mr. Wilson because I'm turning into him. But when I was earlier, in earlier years, I thought Joey was more like me. I was not a Dennis character. I was more a very obedient little boy like Joey. All around us, we find things that inspire us. That is how Marcus finds his as well. To do the drawings for Dennis, uh, since you have to do it every day and come up with a different situation, I depend on my own life, especially my family, my four and a half year old grandson who is a big inspiration because of he is so energetic and animated and a lot of the times when I'm drawing Dennis I'm thinking in my mind now how does my grandson throw his hands up in excitement or frown when he's not happy with something going on so uh, I'm very much influenced by things around me and my family. Inspiration and passion has kept Dennis the Menace alive. Check out Marcus at his best on The Daily Panel, or for more on Dennis the Menace, go to www.dennisthemenace.com. To follow the Carolina School of Broadcasting, check out our website at csbradiotv.edu or on Facebook by searching Carolina School of Broadcasting.